we gather here today, let our prayers be the symphony that invites us, where each word becomes a melody, echoing the spirit of unity and reverence. I welcome Yesha Swini to lead us into prayer. Thank you, sir. I would like to welcome President of today's program, Dr. Charles Furtado, 
director of Admin Block, who encourages all new talents. We welcome you, sir. We are also joined by the registrar, Dr. Alvin Desa, who has been a constant support. We welcome you, sir. We have with us our dynamic staff coordinators, Mr. Akshay Kumar and Dr. Sandhya Yusir Sikar, who has been with us the whole process of this event till the moment. I welcome you, sir. And I now welcome our student coordinators, Ms. Samita Anshan and Mr. Kush Acharya, who have been working hard since the day one. I welcome you both. I welcome all the participants who are here with a bunch of talent. I welcome all of you. I now welcome our faculty heads and volunteers. Last but not the least, I welcome all the enthusiastic audience who are here to witness the program. I welcome every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Ankita. A warm welcome to you as well. In the presence of esteemed dignitaries and leaders, this inauguration marks a significant milestone, symbolizing not just the birth of new venture, but also the dawn of innovation and progress. Without further ado, I now request our esteemed dignitaries to join in officially inaugurating Rapidox, assuring a new era of excellence, innovation and success. with your presence and for honoring us by inaugurating Rapid Talk Season 1. We are honored to have radio jockey Mr. Ajay Pillai, the chief guest of today's program. We request you, sir, to enrich this event with your insights and thoughts. Good morning, everybody. No, it's not a class. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you feeling? Very excited for Rapid Talks. Yes. So, are you excited only for Rapid Talks or also excited for classes? Both. Have you ever heard me on radio? Suna hoga kubi to pata nahi hoga kaun baat kar raha hai ya kudo baat kar raha hai na something like that. So everybody follows Hindi here? Yes. Okay. So I host the morning show for Mangalore ninety eight point three Mirchi for the last eight years. And whenever I come to Alaysh, you know, I feel like you know I'm at home. This is my family. Okay. So I I think uh, that is one special connection which I've already got. That is, you know, captured. But at the same point of time, I just want to tell you this: this event, Rapid Talks, it wouldn't have been possible without the efforts that has been taken by the students, you know, all the people, the staff, you know, the coordinators, and also the professors, the people in charge, and all the dignitaries who are present at the stage. So, first of all, a big round of applause to everyone who has made sure that this event comes to Alaysh's and I think it's the first time that that event is happening in the college, and I think that is very, very awesome. Isn't it awesome? Yes. So let's clap louder, guys. Okay. So you're talking about rap. How many of you rap here? Can you just raise your hand? Okay. So are these contestants or? Uh, you are contestants. And how about the students? Okay, they are thinking, okay, we will get inspired today and go home and rap there. Okay, so uh, to just give a little glimpse about what rap is, you know, what beatboxing is. I think whenever we talk about music, you know, music is something which connects you to a different era or a different world altogether. And when we talk about beatboxing, it is not easy. When we talk about rap, it is not easy. It might sound easy when you listen it, you know, like on podcast or maybe on social media. You feel like it is very easy, but it's not like that. its emotion. Same time, and, uh, I would like to talk about rap. So rap has got its emotion as well, right? So all the rappers who are sitting out here, they might know it well, that whenever they rap any song, so there has been a story, there has been an emotion, there has been a connect that they feel and that is how they rap it, right? And that 
that comes spontaneously. Sometimes you might change the lyrics also. You will go with the flow, you might change the lyrics also. But you know, it's all got to do with the emotions. And beatboxing has the same point of that, you know, taking out different sounds, you know, simultaneously making that sounds, you know, rapping together. I think that's an extraordinary talent and people who are here present today, the rappers, the beatboxers, a big round of applause to them and I'm actually so happy to be working them and I wish success in all the best for this evening. I'm really excited to be here on this. Okay, thank you so much guys, thank you. Thank you sir for encouraging us with your words. We are honoured to have with us our beloved registrar, Dr. Alvin Dessa, an exemplary individual and scholar. I now request you, sir, to get address the gathering. Thank you, sir, for motivating us with your words and thoughts. May I now invite our president of today's program, Dr. Charles Putello, a distinguished individual known not only for his leadership but also for his passion for music, to share his presidential remarks. Respected dignitaries of the days and dear rappers and my dear students. Father Principal was supposed to be here, Father in charge, Vice Chancellor, and I get this privilege this morning to preside over a function which is very, very novel, very, very innovative, and something which uh, I would have loved to be a part of. For me, rap was the rap we got on the knuckles when we went to the headmistress's office when we were kids. I still remember that rap. And I'm an English teacher. For me, Shakespeare's old, often used cliche, if music be the food of life, play it. See, dear students, rap is a repartee. Rap is a way of rebellion. Rap is license to say what you want to say in the way you want to say it without any rules or regulations. It is like freestyle speaking as a voice of the people. In fact, I got the opportunity to be with RJAJ for some time this morning and what struck me was the air of cosmopolitan that is around him. Something which makes him celebrate differences and most importantly he told me that he was trained to be a banker, he was a banker for two years and he felt that something was amiss. His heart was not in his job and I believe people told him you have an asset and that asset is something which is very loud something which is very obvious to all of us. Why don't you do something and make use of that asset, God-given asset? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. His voice. And many of us get this opportunity maybe in life. We are at the crossroads, but we don't have the courage to actually make the choice and take the right road for us. And R.J. Ajay was able to come back to Udupi and start singing in various fora where his voice once again made inroads into Mangaluru and Udupi. And for the last eight years, I have been listening to him whenever I drive my car. Radio Mirchi, somehow by default, my radio is always tuned to Radio Mirchi and I have enjoyed the repartees, the innovation, the creativity of this great RJ. And I'm so happy to share the stage with him this morning. And I would also like to share something which Alvin Sir knows. We joined in 1991 on the same day. And for more than 15 years, I'm sure, I refuse to come near the mic. I had something which I used to call a mic phobia. Now, if somebody gives me a mic, I can eat it. <laughs> what I mean to say is, 
It is all a matter of taking the plunge. It is all a matter of telling yourself, I can do it. And I am sure that all the contestants who have come here will be able to bring out that essence which gives them the license to use what we call colloquial languages, which gives you the license to use multilingual expressions. I think only rap gives you this opportunity. We English teachers talk about subject verb agreement, about the right articles, but rap doesn't believe in all these things. It just tells you to be your emotions, celebrate your emotions, and do something which will let you communicate your inner more feelings with others. So, I think the organizers have done a wonderful job. I'd like to thank Mr. Rakshit, Madam Sandhya, the two students who invited me here, Dr. Alvin Dessa, our charismatic registrar, and last but not the least, I always fall back on some cliches, RJ AJ. So he's here today and he has already said that he's at home in St. Avicius College and we are really happy that you are here with us, sir. And I'm sure this program will really make waves. It is a pioneering program. It is the first one of its kind in our new university. And I'm sure that all of us at the end of this day will be very happy and we will have expressed our talents and our emotions. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for those words of encouragement. I now request our beloved registrar to present a moment of gratitude to our chief guest, Mr. Ajay Pillay. Thank you, sir. As we have come to the end of today's event, may I now request Sneha Prakash to deliver her words of gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, as I draw the curtains on the formal segment of our event, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you present here. I would like to express our deepest appreciation to our esteemed chief guest, RJ Ajay Pillai, Radio Mirchi 98.3 FM, for sharing his insights and talents with us. Your presence has truly enriched our gathering. Thank you, sir. I would like to express our deepest appreciation to the President, Dr. Charles Futaro, your visionary leadership, unwavering dedication and tireless efforts have been the driving force behind the success and growth of our institution. And we are profoundly grateful for your remarkable contributions. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Additionally, we extend our heartfelt thanks to Dr. Alvin Desa, your exemplary administrative skills, meticulous attention to detail and unwavering support have played a vital role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the event. We are deeply appreciative of your steadfast commitment. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Furthermore, we express our sincere gratitude to Vice Chancellor Dr. Praveen Martis SJ for his invaluable guidance and support throughout this endeavor. Special thank you goes to the organizing committee, Mr. Akshit Kumar and Dr. Sandhya Yusesekar, the staff coordinators. And also, Mr. Kush Acharya and Ms. Sandhita, the student coordinators. I would also like to extend my gratitude to the volunteers and staff whose dedication and hard work have made this event possible. Your tireless efforts behind the scenes have not gone unnoticed and we are immensely grateful for all that you have done. As we transition into the vibrant and exciting cultural extravaganza of Rapid Talks, let us carry forward the spirit of celebration and unity that has characterized our time together. May this next phase of our journey be filled with joy, creativity and unforgettable moments. Once again, thank you everyone for being a part of this memorable occasion. Let us embrace the magic of rapid talks and create memories that will last a lifetime. 
Enjoy the excitement that awaits. Thank you.